The location is beautiful. Serenby is all about nature, and my goal was kind of to bring nature into the space. I was very honored to get the primary suite. It's a gorgeous space. The goal was to create a very relaxing space for a retreat to be able to go in and have a little section where I've got a chair that you can sit and take off your shoes and pour yourself a, a cocktail at the end of the day. The bed is kind of the star of the show. It's a four poster mohair bed. That was the first element that started the process. After I saw the lighting and the space and the vaulted ceilings, it's like we really need some height because we have it and we should play off of that. So the chandelier has quartz crystals hanging off of it. That kind of gives a more healing quality to the space and it just felt right to let the chandelier and the bed just kind of be the star. Along with the crystal chandelier, there's sconces on either side of the porch door that also have a beautiful crystal accent and with the gold as well. I mean, it almost has like a museum. I have little vignettes of art throughout the space. I do lean a little more traditional, but I do like adding some abstract art or something that kind of gives it a little more contemporary vibe. On the big wall to the left when you go in, I hung a couple of pieces of art and then some wall bracket sconces and then added a little vase with some eucalyptus on top just to kind of add a little more height to that wall. The window treatments are a cascading willow branch. Again, just bringing that nature inside was important. And they're subtle, you know, it's very soft. Everything's very soft. I personally like a little little punch, so instead of just going with a white lampshade, I did a navy blue silk pleated shade to go on the white lamp. So it kind of draws your eye to the window and just like the beauty of the cascading willow branches on the drapes. I used a wooden hardware there. Just felt like we have the black doors and the gold fixtures and just felt like we needed another wood element and it really works well with the beautiful white oak floors. We added lots of extra fluffiness with the mattress topper and just created this almost cloud-like space. And then I added more texture with the pillows. I didn't do any other print other than what's on the windows. Again, I just wanted it to be just kind of flow and be soft and more of a retreat. The plaster on the walls is the same plaster that they use throughout, and I, I just thought it, it worked great. It is perfect with the fabric that I use for the drapery. I love blues and greens. The blue, it's kind of like a slaty blue that just is soft. Everything's very soft. I have a little chair in the space, and it's very neutral, but I've thrown a kind of a camel color throw on the chair and a nice little boucle texture for a pillow and it just kind of helps that little corner have a little story. I also have a mohair throw on the foot of the bed. It's so soft. I've used, again, more art throughout the space. I mixed in just some unframed canvas along with some framed pieces, which was a nice little balance and they're not all matching. They're kind of unique in themselves. I also added the bar cart, which was just kind of fun. Gave me an opportunity to add a, a little bit more color. Did that with some little bar glasses and some greenery. Creating little vignettes in the space. I have the bar cart and a little chair and a throw. It, it just get, it honestly, it just kind of gave me a little more opportunity to like a little more personality. And I really like the little corner and the chair and it's just like a little another spot to sit and relax in your cloud light bedroom. <laughs> I love rugs and I love art. So I used an old Tibetan rug on the floor. So I have a mix of very new items with something that kind of grounds a space that's older. A lot of people ask me what my style is and I often I'm like, I just kind of design for my clients, but I just, I like to use old and new and I think it's just kind of clean and transitional. <laughs>